I'm Sarah from The Upcoming, a real pleasure to be able to speak to all of you today, me all virtually. Um, maybe you could just begin with a brief introduction to the pact season two. Um, I guess some people are already going to be familiar with the story, some people might be coming to the story fresh. Um, what can people expect from, from the series in general, particularly um, where they're going to pick up with season two? I don't know who wants to start. Go on, I'll, I'll jump in. I'll jump in. I'll take this one. <laughs> um, so I'm Jordan. I play Connor in the pack season two. Um, I guess I'll go where, where, where we are, where kind of the story begins. So in this season, it's completely different from season one, different cast other than Reiki and completely different story. Um, and we start with a, a family who are living their lives and kind of just going about their business. And uh, one day a stranger turns up and claims that he is part of this family, that he is the, the brother to the, to the siblings and the, the son of Christine. And um, madness ensues from there uh, as, as we twist and turn to find out what the actual truth is. Um, and I think that's what you can expect from, from the pack season two. You, you, you're never quite sure where you are at, who you're siding with, whether you're getting the truth, whether you're getting lies. Like it's, it's a lot of twists and turns right up until the, the, the very end, um, which is really cool. And, you know, what was the appeal of, of jumping on board with this project? Um, don't know how to take that one. Um, for me, I um, watched the first series of the pack. Uh, so as soon as I saw the self tape come in for pack series two, I was like, absolutely. Um, and then I read the character and related so much to her. Um, yeah, I was, I was really, I was really keen on booking the job and luckily I did. And here we are. <laughs> so. And how, how do you see each of your different characters and how did you prepare to play them? Um, I'll, in terms of the character, for me, it was understanding the, the, what is very similar and what is very different between the, the both of us. And um, I think using sort of parts of my emotional history and just like sort of channeling it through this character, a certain, a certain aspect um, of that history that, because I understood where this person and was understood what his his needs were understood what his you know what he wants and and then from there really just you know you don't know any i i, I kind of know mali well i don't really know and know her before i did this job and i and then that's the the strange magic of acting isn't it is that you just sort of don't know each other and then you meet up on day one and then now you're a family and that just is about you know the trust and uh and 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 the, and the not knowingness as well like of how that really works until you end up doing it and for you jordan or, or mali to go next um i i just wanted to say like the family dynamics was really important for me to find the character the the hierarchy of how my character interacts with each other person um, and there was a lot of tension between Megan and Will, I think. Um, but she also plays the role of sort of standing up for her other brothers. Um, so I think I think that's that was really important for finding family feel. And luckily, we all got on so well. Um, so that that helped as well, I think. Did you have kind of a, a rehearsal period to kind of, I guess have that feeling of the characters being lived in and this other family that, you know, know each other inside out. Um, yeah, yeah, we just have um, a, a short rehearsal period um, and Aaron, who I act with um, mostly really, um, we got sent off for a walk around London to try and get to know each other. Um, and we ended up in the pub and that was a very effective way of um, getting to know each other very quickly. <laughs> And Jordan, did you want to add something there? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, for me, the, this is kind of my, my first time on screen in, in this way and filming away from home um, and being in Wales, which I've, I've never been to other than, you know, for, for this production, really. So kind of that, all of that um, nervous energy and the uncertainty that came with just doing this project were things I could channel into... Connor and use because it, it, it kind of parallels him being you know 
in this environment that he's unsure of trying to connect with people that he has never met before, but knows that this is kind of where he needs to be. Um, so it's kind of strange that the, the, obviously the two parallels between me and him there just by doing this project, um, which was really cool, really helpful. And what do you make kind of of uh, the character of Christine? Because obviously she's a fascinating character, very nuanced, very layered, and kind of her relationship with her children. And I think she, um, Reiki had described it in an interview as kind of quietly overbearing. Um, so I don't know whether you kind of agree with that and how you kind of developed a relationship with her and, and also worked um, with her as an actress. I was very familiar with sort of Reiki's work before we started. So I'd always, I'd always really admired her. Um, and when we initially met, she's, she's so warm and um, welcoming really, and made me feel really like that I was meant to be there. So I immediately felt like a, a motherly connection, I suppose. Um, and then I think as the process goes on and the story goes on, we go on an emotional roller coaster. Um, with our relationship with our mother and with each other as well. Um, so I don't want to say too much, but I think my character Megan's perception um, of Christine changes. And for you, Lloyd? Um, yeah, for me, um, yeah, working with Reiki, you know, it was just how how I, I like to work with people. Like I come in, I come in, I got an idea of what the scene's about, of where the scene should, I feel it, we, I, I want to take it. And then she's got her ideas. And I felt like that was pretty, you know, true throughout all of the process for all of us. It's just like, um, cause there's so much going on and there's so many character things. It was really, I had to be a very collaborative show in that sense, I felt, because we're all, you know, sort of in the same sort of situation whereby you're doing like, you know, you might start on episode three and then it's like two episodes, you haven't done anything. So you're like, where am I getting to? So yeah, it was really good in terms of just like working that out with her and stuff like that. But yeah, she's a powerhouse, man. So I think, um, you know, and it's, it's very real. So I think it's gonna shine through for sure. Mm -hmm. And, and I think also with her being the executive producer on, on this project as well, you you felt protected as 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 an actor. I felt protected as an actor in terms of um, like the, the performance comes first. And and when it felt like that wasn't the case, you you knew that you had Reiki there to kind of she was on the same page and she's with you. And and that was. Um, Really helpful, really, really helpful. Because it's it's nice to know that obviously she's not just your your classmate, but she's someone that if, if can take these things further and is having discussions that affect what's going on on the ground after we've finished shooting. Um, and and um, I was very grateful to be able to work with her and just learn. Every day was a learning day of Reiki. To be fair, mm. were there any particular moments on set that really stood out for you, or you're, you're kind of that will stay with you and and go into your future projects? For me, it was, uh, I can't say, because it's a spoiler. It was just one scene that I did with Reiki and I was just watching and I was trying really hard to carry on acting because part of me was just in amazement of what she was doing. Um, and that I, that I think, that vulnerability she showed is something that I'm going to strive to achieve. It's just a nuance. It's just a nuance for me. It's just she's so she can be very light touch, and and it's so effective, and it's interesting because obviously now I've seen episode one and two, to to have seen those little things that she does right there in the room, and how little they are in the room, but how much impact they have on the screen, and you know it's just it's just little movements, little things that indicate exactly what it is that's going on the inside um and she just it's just it's just all there and it's just so natural and and it's like if i can have half of that um you know in, in this game in, in my time here i'll be chuffed yeah um so the question was um, just a moment in general that stood out during filming this project 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, was, did you have okay. uh, Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd probably say, I mean, there's usually some silly, funny moments that I usually cling on to, but this was quite a dark uh, sort of run. But I think there's a scene between <laughs> me and Aaron uh, where the character, the mask comes off. And, that, and that's the only time or the only scene that we see that truth of him and it was just yeah it was just a nice just a it, it, yeah it just felt really real and um so yeah that would that stood out for me but there was many many moments for for many for, for so many of us um you know, there could be a moment like you've got five minutes to film this scene it's not the best memory but you remember it because you've got five minutes to do it <laughs> And flooded back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost out of time, but you know, ultimately, what do you hope people take away from from watching the series? And I guess there's um, there's a kind of entertainment aspect of it, and kind of going on the journey with these characters. But there's also themes about you know keeping secrets, um, you know, capturing something of the truth of kind of family family dynamics. You know, what do you hope people take away? Go on, go on. It, it, it impact it has an impact it has an impact on them and they remember it and um the twists of the storyline i think they it's quite hard to write something fresh new and that hasn't been done before and i'm going to put my neck out there and say i don't think this has for sure for sure i think for me it's the i want that impact too i think it will it will make an impact but also the the family feel. I feel like, as as Lloyd said earlier, it felt like a family on set when we all were together. Especially scenes where we all got to film together and, and you know be in one room. It felt like a family, and I hope that when people watch it, they maybe see parts of their family or they can connect and be like, okay, yeah, I recognise that. That that's kind of like how how my brother is or my sister is or whatever, whatever. And and I think. I think people will, but I'm, I'm very excited to see kind of how, how that goes across and, and when that comes out. I hope that people don't expect what's coming next, because when I was reading the script, I certainly didn't. Um, and I really hope that people get the, the thrill of being like, oh my gosh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing all that with me. And I really can't wait That's for cool. everyone else to get stuck into the pact season two. Thanks so much. Thank you.